Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be here. Today is finally the day. It's my pregnancy confirmation appointment. I'm so excited. I am like so excited because it feels like just yesterday and I can remember so vividly sitting in the same parking lot, waiting outside the office for like for this appointment, for this pregnancy confirmation appointment with both Hugo and Theo. And it feels like such a huge milestone in your pregnancy because it's like your very first appointment and you get to see the baby for the first time on the ultrasound and it's like you blink and then this little baby, this tiny little one, who's like not even eight weeks old yet, is a preschooler and like off to preschool. It's it's wild, it really, really is. Uh, so yeah, I'm so excited. Um, it's 10.40 right now, my appointment is at 11.15. I also need to, so I'm, I'm meeting, I think I'm meeting with the doctor first, then I'm going to radiology for the ultrasound, and then I think I'll probably go back to the doctor's office um, or meet with the nurse or something to kind of talk through some stuff. I know that with Theodore's um, pregnancy confirmation appointment, we made the C-section date, like we scheduled it the first appointment so I wonder if we'll do that today um, and I have uh, lab work that needs to get done I need to do my thyroid lab work at the lab here so um, I'm not sure if I I don't think it was the very first appointment that I got the uh, lab work for the NIPT done with Theodore but was it because I mean we found out really early or maybe it was the next appointment I'm not sure um, but we'll find out. I'm so excited. I'm just pray, pray, praying that everything is fine and the baby is healthy. Sorry, I have a hair on my face. Um, that the baby looks healthy and everything is fine. And yes, that is like the number one thing. Um, but I can't believe we're here again. It feels really surreal. It feels really surreal. But so, so exciting. So I will I'll vlog what I can. I don't know how much I can actually vlog inside. Um, and then hopefully it's like wonderful, perfect, amazing news coming back. Um, Jeff's home with Theo. He just got back from Australia last night. This past week has been kind of wild uh, because he's been in Australia, but it's fantastic that he's back. And um, I found out that, sorry, this piece of hair is like still somewhere, but I can't see it. Um, I found out that they are now allowing partners to come with you to your appointments so he can come to like my next ultrasound or he can come to the 20 week anatomy scan that's really fun um no one knows yet so that's like another reason why this is such a huge uh deal because um we've been waiting for this appointment to be able to tell everyone i like really felt in my heart that i wanted to wait until we like saw the baby and that everything was fine and to tell our parents and like our family and friends and stuff so yeah that like also feels really exciting because i feel like after this appointment is done we'll be able to finally tell everyone which will be really fun so i'm gonna chill in the car for a little bit longer because it is a little bit early and then um as probably around 11 o'clock um or a little bit before i'll i'll head inside Let's pray that everything is fine, the baby's great, and this is an easy appointment. Thank you, God. I'm so over the moon. Oh, that went like so incredibly well. I feel like I have so much to say um, and I know I'll do like an update, but, um, oh my gosh, let me show you the cute pictures. I got the baby. Do you see? The, she said the dark spot is the baby's developing brain. And I got to see the baby's heartbeat. It was flick, flick, flickering away. 
and oh my gosh like so great I'm so so happy ah I can't believe it oh my gosh that was so great so yeah oh my gosh it's like so so cold out too all right so I wrote down some things like as the appointment was happening I went saw the doctor first was lovely to see her so in the practice that I'm going to there's two doctors and one midwife this is the same practice I've been going to for all my kids and the doctor who delivered both of my boys is semi-retired so she's not doing OB anymore so I'm seeing the other doctor who is so lovely like oh my goodness such such a lovely nice lady so met with her um we chatted a little bit and then she sent me to ultrasound and then i got the ultrasound done and everything looked perfect um she said that the baby's actually measuring seven so today i'm seven weeks five days and the baby's actually measuring seven weeks six six days which is perfect and then I went back to the doctor's office and we chatted a little bit. Um, so she said that the hospital situation is a little bit different this time. So I'm not going to be delivering at the same hospital that I delivered at with Hugo and Theodore. I'll be delivering at a different hospital. Apparently this hospital, you can't schedule a C-section before 39 weeks. Which is a little, makes me a little nervous because... I didn't have none of my boys have made it to 39 weeks um Hugo was born 38 weeks six days and Theodore was born really early he was born I mean his due date was Thanksgiving and he was born November 11th that was a, a, a full I want to say three weeks early so I'm a little nervous and I said I even I was like eh, I'm nervous that uh the baby's gonna come early <laughs> and she she was like it's okay like she said the C-section, like the C-section will happen no matter what. Obviously there's no guarantee with, if the baby were to come early and like randomly, there's no guarantee that the C-section would be with her, which is like a little bit of a bummer. But at this point, it's sort of like, you know, let go and let God sort of thing. And, um, I mean, we'll just see what ends up happening. And so I... What else? So I'm 134 pounds, which is like pretty normal. Um, she said, oh, so I will do the NIPT. Oh, two things were really funny. So I will do the NIPT, but she said that they're not doing the NIPTs now until 10, a little after 10 weeks. So whereas before it used to be nine weeks, now it's a week later, which is a bummer, but fine. And then I am now, folks, considered advanced maternal age. I am officially in the high risk category because I am 34. I'm 34. <laughs> and during this pregnancy, I will turn 35. So she said that I'm the best type of high risk because there's nothing actually high risk about me besides the, like right now, besides the advanced maternal age. And like, hopefully it stays that way. And she said that, you know, although it'll be more appointments, it'll be more ultrasounds, like it is, you know, it's a good thing because you'll, you'll see some specialists and like, it's all good. Like we'll, we'll get to see the baby often and like, it will, you know, it'll be fine. Um, but it was funny to hear that. Like I am now, I am now advanced maternal age and that's what I'm being categorized. as. <laughs> so there you go. Um, oh, the baby's heartbeat is around. I couldn't remember if it was 167 or 164, but it was in the 160s. Um, she showed me that I was perfect and my due date is july 27th so i mean it would be a dang miracle if i made it to if we she said so we'll schedule the c-section a little further out she said but it would be a miracle if i made it to 39 weeks so here's to hoping here's to hoping we'll just keep our fingers crossed there and then i went and i got my blood work done and that was so easy so the woman it's funny it's the same woman, who, the same woman who did my blood work is the same woman who has done my blood work there for as far back as I can remember. I, I recognized her and she's, she's really nice. And she's so good at it. She's so good at it. I have really small veins and I have like olive skin and I swear every other place I go to get my blood work done, it's like they can't find the veins. They're poking me a million times, a million times. 
um, they could not find my vein for anything the night that I was um, delivering Hugo and they were poking me in both arms and in my hand like just like, nutty nutty she can find my vein in literally two seconds and like it's not an issue at all like she just ties up my arm finds it and does it and like nothing like it's easy easy peasy so it just made me laugh because I'm like every time I go to get my blood work done like I went to have an annual physical a couple was it? I guess now it was like a couple years ago and the nurses there like could not find my vein for anything so that just made me laugh anyway so that's it um, I'm gonna get an email so I made my next two appointments I'm gonna get an email from I guess the labor and delivery nurse like the head nurse um, to go over they gave me this they gave me this folder full of information you get the folder every time you have a kid it's it's all information that like as a third time mom now oh my goodness um i know but um they're not doing that in person anymore i guess like not they're not doing it in person here because the hospital's not close to here so i'm gonna schedule like a zoom meeting with her she said and then um let's, i made two more appointments i made an appointment oh my gosh my calendar is like all over the place I made an appointment for, I have an appointment, I have the, okay, so I have a nurse appointment, I think for blood work for the NIPT, I think, um, in a couple weeks, and then, oh, well, no, that's one, two, three, three weeks, and then at the end of January, I have, um, I booked the nuchal scan and another doctor's appointment, so yeah. The doctor was like, you're going to be super busy this year. I was like, I know. I was, I was gonna be busy before this baby this this is just like extra I think she meant it because of all the extra doctor's appointments <laughs> to be honest <gasps> no it's fine we're gonna make it work we're just gonna make it work and um you know it'll be fine everything will just be fine <laughs> anyway I'm gonna finish this vlog out here friends <sighs> what a wonderful day what a wonderful day I'm so grateful I texted Jeff and said, one perfect baby. So yes, it's not twins. Unfortunately, I was going back and forth. It's like the anxiety of it being twins versus like one baby. But what's meant to be, it, like what's meant to happen to be will be. And I'm just so grateful for one perfect baby. And seeing the baby on the ultrasound, it was like, oh, like that's, that's our little baby right there. Just like Hugo and just like Theodore. Like there, there's our baby. So yeah. That's it, friends. I am um, so excited. Jeff is so excited. And now we can tell everyone. Ah! I want to, like, tell everyone right this second, right now. Um, I think we're going to wait till this weekend to tell our parents. But we'll see. I really want to tell Hugo. I just don't want him then to tell everyone. But we'll see. Anyway. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.